Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be doing an airport update of Bradley International Airport which is also known as Windsor Locks International Airport. Uh, this is a suggested airport update, um, it's kind of like a, a mid-range kind of airport, the ones that I've kind of been asking to be suggested. Uh, it has some pretty interesting flights and so without further ado let's just get on with this. So in front of you here we have an Air Canada Express E175. Uh, he's just lined up on the runway and he's going to be heading out to Toronto. And just behind him there, holding short, we have a JetBlue A320. He's going to be heading out to Fort Lauderdale. Next in line, we have a Delta Connection CRJ200. He's going to be heading out to Cincinnati. And then behind him there, we have an American A321. He's going to be heading out to Los Angeles. Now, before we make our way onto the main terminal, um, I had to add some of the flights over here just because I didn't actually have um, all the space I needed at the terminal. So we have kind of like the hard stands here and I decided to put some of the low cost um, airlines over here. Uh, so first of the line starting from the bottom, we have a Southwest 737-800. He's gonna be heading out to Baltimore. Uh, next up, we have another Southwest 737-800. Um, he's gonna be heading out to Denver. And uh, then above him, we have a Southwest 737-700. Uh, he's gonna be heading out to Tampa. And then above him there, we have finally a Frontier A320, he's going to be heading out to Orlando. Now moving on to the terminal, here we have a United Express E175, uh, he's about to head out to Houston. And then next here on the bottom we have a United A320, uh, he's about to head out to Washington Dulles and then above him there just arrived in, we have a United 737-800, he's going to be heading out to Newark. Next here we have an Aer Lingus A321neo. Now this was one of the main reasons I wanted to do this airport uh, is because this is the only international carrier that um, uh, Windsor Locks gets. It's an Aer Lingus. They used to fly the 757 here, um, of course now, and um, they're replacing the 757 with the A321neo. Um, and so here we have an A321neo from Aer Lingus. Uh, he's gonna be heading out to Dublin today. Now of course I did forget to mention, this is of course without the whole pandemic that's going on. This is just a regular regular day at Windsor Locks. Um, Aer Lingus, I believe, have suspended all, um, I know all long haul travel, I'm not sure about short haul, but I know for definite that this route isn't operating at the moment with this pandemic, but, you know, as I said, this is just a regular, you know, update without anything going on like that. But yeah, as I said, he's gonna be heading out to Dublin. Moving on to Delta now, on the right there we have a Delta 737-900. Uh, he's gonna be heading out to Minneapolis. And then on the left there, uh, we have a Delta MD-90. He's gonna be heading out to Atlanta. Next here, just about to pull into the gate where the A321 left. Um, this is an American Eagle E175. He's just arrived in from Washington, Reagan. And as I said, he's gonna pull into the uh, gate where the American A321 left. And then finally for the terminal here, we have an American 737-800. He's gonna be heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth. And then behind him there in the corner, we have an American Eagle CRJ-700. He's gonna be heading out to Charlotte Douglas. Then finally for the update now, moving on to the uh, cargo section. Here we have a DHL 757-200. He's gonna be heading out to Rochester in New York. Then next here we have a UPS 767-300. He's gonna be heading out to Chicago, Rockford. Then we have a FedEx MD-11 heading out to Memphis. And then finally here we have a FedEx 757-200 heading out to Newark. And that does conclude this update of uh, Windsor Locks International Airport. I hope you did enjoy it. Again, leave suggestions of different airports you want me to do in the comments and I'll see about getting them done. As well, just regular video suggestions if you want to see anything, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll see about getting them done. Uh, again, airport updates, they'll always be Friday. However, the scheduling of what airports go where will be a little bit messed up through these times and um, Baltimore is a little bit inaccessible at the moment. Uh, uh, just as usual really, but I'll try and get a Baltimore update out soonish. Um, I was originally hopefully having a Baltimore update out today, but I had to do this one instead. Um, and of course Dallas, um, I've decided I probably won't do the Dallas updates on the Friday, they'll be on another day, um, just so I can always have a traditional airport update like this on a Friday, every Friday, and then the Dallas videos will come another time. And they won't be at regular intervals anymore, they're just gonna be when I can make them, I will make them. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that does conclude everything I need to say. I hope you did enjoy this update of Windsor Locks International Airports. And apart from that, I will see you in the next video.
Bye.